quick one uh, on the, the, the president said during his press conference he kind of acknowledged that um, Ukraine is not going it's not very likely that Ukraine is going to join NATO in the next upcoming years uh, are, is this an acknowledgement you're ready to put in written in your written response uh, just saying we don't shut the doors but uh, it's not likely that Ukraine is going to join in, in the upcoming future Francesca, we've uh, consistently made the point uh, when we talk about the foundational, inviolable principles, uh, one of them, when it comes to European security, uh, is the right of sovereign nations to choose their partnerships and alliances in any way uh, that they see fit. Uh, it is written into NATO's charter uh, that countries can aspire to join the alliance. Of course, uh, there are a set of membership you. requirements. Uh, those membership requirements uh, are clearly spelled out, clearly delineated. Uh, it is the obligation and responsibility of each aspirant country uh, to be in a position to fulfill those requirements. Uh, but NATO's door uh, must always remain open to those aspirant countries that fulfill those requirements. That wasn't my question. My question is, are you ready to take the quote from President Biden in his press conference? The likelihood that Ukraine is going to join NATO in the near term is not very likely. Are you ready to take that quote and put it in written in your written response? An open door is an open door. That door will always be open. We're not going to take any move. We're not going to say anything uh, that would... The president uh, just did. We, I, I, don't, I don't think the president did. I think the president said exactly what I reiterated just now. Uh, that NATO accession is predicated on uh, a set of requirements that each aspir aspirant country must fulfill.